Rabbit and Gina podcast. The average teenage girl does this 150 times a year and it was slamming the door. Uh, got me remembering when I slammed the door once and I kicked back at it just to really, just to emphasise how angry I was <laughs> as a teenage boy and my foot went through the door and then mum and dad made me pay $50 to get it fixed. <laughs> doesn't cost 50 bucks to fix a little ding in a door. And they never did anyway. Well, they probably thought you might have done it again and they would waste their money if you're going through an angry angry phase. (laughs) We moved out of that house and it still had the hole in the door. So I will call my dad today down in Melbourne and I'll say, hey, I want that 50 bucks back. (laughs) Because you never actually spent it on what you were supposed to spend it on, which was <laughs> and that was my milk run money from running around the streets You're delivering people's on to that, milk. Aren't you? What? You're holding on to that? No, a <laughs> little bit, maybe. <laughs> um, Nicole in Charmhaven, we're talking about that time when you you did something and then you went, "Oh, I am so in trouble." What did you do? Yeah. Um, I'm not sure whether I was five or six years old. Um, and I wasn't wasn't allowed to ride my push bike on the road for safety reasons, mm-hmm. and the helmets weren't compulsory at that time. So I decided to go to up the road to my friend's house and ride their bike on the road instead. But I fell off and ended up needing stitches in my forehead. Oh no! <laughs> <laughs> oh, but wait, where's the? What are you? How are you doing something wrong here? No helmet. Someone else's bike well, on the well, road. I wasn't, well, yeah, well, technically, I wasn't riding my bike on the road. I was riding somebody else's bike. Oh, my bike. God. Oh, now I get it. Because you've been told you're not allowed to ride your bike on oh, the road. Did you get in trouble? Yeah. Loophole. But, um, no, I didn't get into trouble. Um, I think there might have been a few stern words spoken, but not in yeah. trouble as no, much. No, once you've got <laughs> stitches in your head, I reckon parents will give you a little bit of a break there. It's like... All right, that's like time served. Lesson like you're, learnt. Yeah. Justin, <laughs> what, yours is a car-related one. What did you do when you knew you were in trouble? Yeah, I just got my peas and I was at a family barbecue and I had to go to shop and get some uh, bread and eggs and I had some family members in the car and on the way back, it was like a dirt road and sort of thought I was a bit of a rally driver and I lost control and sort of went into a ditch and half rolled the car. Oh, wow. <laughs> did you yeah. smash the eggs? <laughs> Yeah, I know the eggs were right. <laughs> but yeah. Eggs were right, okay. Right the tree held it up, so. Oh, yeah. wow. Justin. Yeah, big, did you get in a lot of trouble? Yeah, was, uh, they weren't too impressed. Luckily, the tow truck pulled it out and drove home. It was rocks and everything falling out of the engine on the way home. <laughs> <laughs> That's next level. <laughs> when you're on your, oh, sorry, on your peas. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, okay. yeah, that's the way to learn. <laughs> yep. Um, what about you? Atishma, um, what happened with you? Well, my brother and I, we got in trouble and he must have been five or six. So my parents locked out, out the back. and so I I'm sorry, what did you there. say your parents locked you out the back? <laughs> out the back door, yeah, in the back. <laughs> <laughs> this is how we used to parent. This is how parents that, used to That was a long time ago. You've been naughty. I'm locking you out of the house. Yeah, so I left my brother. I'm sure he was five or six. I can't remember exactly. But I left him there on his own in the dark. And I jumped the fence. I went to my friend's house and I had dinner with them. Oh, wow. <laughs> oh Is your little brother okay? Hey, don't, she doesn't know he's still there. <laughs> Dean and Watanabe, take us back to when you were younger uh, and you knew you were going to be in trouble. What happened? Typical afternoon after school, me and my sister argued and she ended up blocking me out of the house, out the back. Yep. So I bashed on the back door, probably half an hour or so in that time our neighbour had rung my dad already yeah. because of the noise. Um, she eventually unlocked the door so I threw my shoe at her, hit her in the head and then she decided to lock me at the back yet again and so I put my fist through the back window. Jeez, Dean! Oh. So, so angry. You kids. Uh. And uh, did you get in massive trouble? Got in trouble, had a hand bandaged up, and I've still got the scar. Wow. Yeah. Do you get on with her now? Yes. Oh, yes. No, no, no. that's all, good. All worked out in the end. <laughs> uh, Lisa, you, uh, what happened? A time you thought, well, you realised you were going to be in big trouble? Well, I was a rebel in high school. Like, yeah. I thought I was tough. Yeah. And it was the start of the year, and it was time to get new school uniform. I didn't want to go to school, but I had to. So mum took me to get my uniform and I was sulking all the way, trying it on. When we started school in the morning, some scissors landed on my uniform and cut it. Oh, you cut up your school uniform? Oh, wow. I did, so I, so I didn't have to go. So you know what she did? 
took me to the clothing pool in my pyjamas that morning and got me a uniform with stains on it and I had to wear it <laughs> and I got grounded for a month. <laughs> well played, Mum. <laughs> oh, yeah, yeah. I love her to death now. Oh, that, love her to death now, but yeah, at yeah. the time, oh, I love the way your mum handled that. The Rabbit and Gina podcast. I go in and see my little school. You know, I have a little school where the kids sing and song I don't totally and, understand it. Yeah, um, where is your little school? Well, we teach singing at the hub at Erin Affair. Oh, yeah. And then oh, we in do, those rooms there. Yeah, and that, oh, yeah. the big room that's got a theatre and uh, mirrors and it's beautiful. Oh, I don't yeah. know that room. Yeah, it's it's okay. where a lot of youth, uh, you can go and see live, live bands, young bands and I stuff like that. didn't even know that it's existed, It's the it? coolest place ever. Okay. Yeah, I've been in there for like 14 years. And, what? And, yeah. And this is... Uh, what, are you trying to keep it a secret or something? <laughs> no. <laughs> Hey, well, no, it's, it's not been... a secret because I know how busy you are with yeah, it. Yeah, it's fantastic. I absolutely love it. We get little ones. So yesterday was the day. It's because it's the last uh, week of term one. I always go in. I don't teach the little ones. I teach the ones who have got getting record deals and I mentor them and get, help get them ready for a, right. a career in the music industry. But my little ones, like they start at uh, six. Oh, I went in and saw them sing yesterday. And yeah. their mums and dads come in and watch them for the end of the term. It's the cutest. Oh, would be. It's so cute. So usually in term one, the little ones are still super shy and they sing really quiet. You've got to really listen in. And yeah. They're up on a stage and it's the cutest thing you've ever seen. And How then, are they by the end of it? Oh, well, by the, year, oh, by the end of the year? Yeah. Oh, by the end of the year, we've got it costumed, choreographed, wow. on microphones. You just can't believe the difference from term one to term four. Well, I can't because my wife being a teacher and she's a kindy teacher. Yeah. She, at the start uh, of the year, um, will, you know, I always, I love seeing the progress at the end of oh, the it's, year. it's so good. How much, how far they come how in, far in they the come. one year. Yeah. yeah, I've got them singing harmony and oh, it's oh, just incredible. Goodness. And there's big ones as well. I've had like some big success, the winners. Yeah. The Voice and uh, some some of mine have got record deals and you know they've played on Netflix TV series mm-hmm. and like it's going really really well. But the little ones are the cutest thing and then then I had the next stage up yesterday too and they just oh they sang so good. But because I haven't seen them all term really, I, I ran in and they all run up and give me a big hug and a kiss and they're like, <laughs> oh, you're on the radio now, Gina. Because I've one one little one her name's Holly. Her mum came and told me that she leaves the radio on all night. And go because she doesn't want to miss us when we start. And then her mum just goes in and turns it up a little bit to wake her up. And oh. she she won't wake up without us on the radio. Oh. And she and she's the cutest thing. Hi Holly. <laughs> Hi How Holly. Holly. Holly's twelve. Okay. Uh, she might be eleven actually, but she's she's very gorgeous. She's just beautiful. And she said to me. Is Rabs is Rabs as bald as my dad? And I said, oh, I don't know how bald's your dad. He goes, he goes. Well, he he has a number one clipper. He said, she said, you know, like when they get a bit of stubble on their face. My dad's head. It's an interesting conversation. Yeah, to be my, having. my dad's head's like that. I said, yeah. I said no. Rabs is completely bald. I said he's got got eyebrows. Yeah, like <laughs> picture a baby's bum, yeah. and that's my entire head. <laughs> <laughs> if, if a baby's bum had eyebrows. <laughs> he's like got, he gets his hair on his eyebrows and yeah. his eyelashes. Yeah, but, yeah, yeah, she, yeah. Wanted to know, she well, wanted to know about your hair. Well, <laughs> now she knows. Balder than dad, Wait, Holly. so you've uh, not seen them all. T- you haven't seen them since you started on radio. You go in there yeah. and the one question you get is... <laughs> Is Rabs as bald as my dad? <laughs> the Rabbit and Zena podcast. So there's something that uh, people have believed for way too long, and I need to ah. bust the myth. Great. And uh, and it's, in fact, uh, if I could have the uh, uh, MythBusters mu- music, thank you. Then uh, because because uh, this is do you do, would you recognise this music? Did you ever watch the show? Yeah, I used to watch this. Did show. you? Jackie loved it when he was little. Dude with the big thick moustache. Yeah, and the, and the um, hat. Yeah, and the beret. The, the beret. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> um, I'm that guy um, in this particular segment. The guy with the big moustache? Yeah, I think so. <laughs> he was the more serious one. Was he? Yeah. And that one's other, you. The other one was a bit looser and funny. <laughs> oh, right. I'm the serious one. I think you've one got him the... around the, the wrong way, Rab. So um, I, I don't want to keep talking about the um, things that can kill you that live at my house, but <laughs> I've got another one. <laughs> Are you kidding? Oh, yeah, I found another funnel web yesterday too. Oh, come on. Yeah, right outside my door, right outside the door where I keep my shoes. Um, <laughs> but he a... was dead. Oh. Yeah, I don't know what happened. I don't know. He it was, it was dead and very crunchy. Um, Did you eat it? 
A little bit. I dipped them in some fairy um, bread. <laughs> it's some hundreds and thousands. I had a spider-shaped container and I, and I just dipped them Did in. Did you butter him first? <laughs> no, he was really crunchy. Oh. Well, I had to test if he was alive by yeah. poking at him yeah. with a... because sometimes they're, they're pretending to be dead. What? Yeah, they pretend to be dead. This is my Mythbusters segment, so don't go making things up. Oh. I'm, I am. Oh, making, did you just make that up? Oh, yeah. No, oh. but I think they do. I think they pretend to be I was believing dead. that. No, but... no, I think it might be true. I think we should look it up because I think they do. They, and then they go, like that at the last second. <laughs> Far out, man. That's like the I'm first time sure. I ever saw one when it walked through my lounge while I was watching TV one night with my bare feet sitting on the floor. Oh. And I looked down and went, ooh, ooh, he's horrible looking. Yeah. Went and took photos of him and stuff and everything before um, carefully collecting him and taking him to the reptile park. <laughs> <laughs> no, well, I, did, I didn't know it's what he was, so I just yeah. beat the living daylights out of him. Yeah. Um, and then the next morning Googled up from based on the photos and found oh. that I'd had a funnel web walking through the lounge. So you've got another one. Oh, there's been a few, yeah. I've had three walk through the lounge while watching Holy TV. Guacamole. You're never going to come to my house. I um, don't think so. Based on the, no. And the leeches. That's, yeah. uh, that's I'm going to wear long thing. boots. That's well, I got a new sure. thing. Talking to the neighbour the other day, and uh, I just brought up how oh, I've got to get the house sprayed soon um, to keep all the things out. And it was... But, well, the other day when I had a funnel web yeah. by the door, and um, and he goes, "Yeah, well, what about the white tails?" And I went, "I'm so weird." And uh, and he goes, "Funnel webs? I haven't had any funnel webs." I was like, "Ah, oh, well, we got lots because I yeah I see them often. I mean, seeing one is often enough for me. Like totally. I would call that often. If I saw two, yeah. it's like a plague. Yeah, like a there's yeah, yeah two. That's too too many. Too too many. Have you got dark soil? Because don't they like dark? They like really dark soil. What what do they, Gina? What color do they, Gina? What color? Do I need to play the Mythbusters music again? (laughs) What color is your soil? I don't know. Is it red or is it dark or is it sandy? I don't know. Okay, I think it's dark. Because I, I, they like dark so- I heard that one time. <laughs> you got to be careful with this because you know what happens? People take what you say and then they go, no, I heard it on the radio. And that's terrifying to know that people base, base their, uh, their thoughts and what they know about things because they heard it on the radio. It's us! <laughs> Okay, we need we need like a disclaimer at the start that we play at the start oh, of the show. We need a disclaimer Warning. that runs about twenty minutes at the start of the show that runs through all the things. The following is potentially not true. Yeah, what color is your soil anyway? So uh, these white tails. So a while ago, I had this really itchy ankle, and uh, and you could see like all the veins running out, like oh, uh, from across my ankle. Yeah, and it was so itchy, and um, and then I had it again yesterday, and I'd been doing a lot of gardening. And I thought, oh, is that a, that's a white tail thing? When white tails get you, I've seen photos um, where it, it, their poison goes all through the veins, yeah. and then it like um, makes the veins on the outside of the skin go all crusty and stuff. <laughs> and uh, it's like really, a really horror cheap. movie. I know. And uh, so I thought maybe it doesn't hurt when they bite you, ah. but they get you with this vein. Ah. So I googled it up. Ah. Now we get to the MythBusters section. You know this whole thing. <laughs> oh, you may have heard it on the radio. When a <laughs> white tail bites you, it, uh, the poison runs through the veins, and then that comes up as sores all along. Do you want me to show you photos? And your skin, like chunks of flesh, fall off. Gina. <laughs> I'm talking. I said that with a question mark on the end. Right, because I'm talking from a place of knowledge, (laughs) and you're just throwing in bits of your flesh fall off. Um, Do you want to see photos? Yes, please. Now, I when I um, got um, I I said yes. When I got massacred by that leech the other day, it got me under the wrist, uh, under my watch band. To producer Loz, I sent off the photos straight away and went, check this out, because I know she loves that gear. And you, I sent you the same text and then followed it up with, do you want to see? Do you want to see? And I didn't know. I didn't know, because I thought, oh, I don't know if you want to see this. I wanted to see. Uh, and you went, yeah, hit me. And so uh, and so then I sent the photos back. Now, um, um, what? what do I write? Do I, po- uh, po- poison? I po- don't know. White tail. You're the expert. Well... <laughs> I want to show you the photos of what it can do um, to your skin. Oh, yuck. I don't want to look at those pictures anymore. Are they white? Are they, you've got, yeah, oh, there's red, oh, we had redbacks at our house. We're not talking about them today. Okay. That's tomorrow's That's segment. One. <laughs> anyway, so this whole thing, a study was done of 130 people yeah. who had been bitten by a white tail. Yeah. Not a single one, not a single one showed that thing of where it runs all along your veins, ah. under your skin, and then comes up as sores and all ah. that 
Total myth. Total myth. Total I myth. I am so glad. Yeah. Yeah, that's good like, news. Like, still really hurts, apparently, yeah. and it's not great for you. Yeah. But you don't get the weird skin thing, which is oh, what I always thought happened with them. I so. always thought you just lost chunks of flesh. That's good to know. Where'd you hear that? On the radio? <laughs> the Rabbit and Zuna Podcast. For more great comedy shows like this, head to novapodcast.com.au.